Hey guys, Alex here from Love Tennis and it's been a crazy few weeks as you may have seen on some of our videos we were away in Indian Wells for 10 days we were holding some clinics there for top tennis training and at the same time thought we would film some footage for you guys uh, both uh, slow motion of some players and some practice court footage for your enjoyment if you haven't seen those videos you can check them out now but today I wanted to discuss Miami Open. Obviously Miami is the next tournament after Indian Wells. Indian Wells finishing with Team as the champion, beating Federer in the final, which was quite a big upset, I'd say. I don't think Team was a, a favorite to win the tournament at the start of the tournament, but he ended up doing really well and winning it. And today I wanted to do a little uh, review of the day and how things went at Miami Open. Now Miami has been a crazy tournament so far with most of the big stars out. Nadal pulled out because of injury, Del Potra pulled out because of injury, Nishikori is out, he lost, we've got Wawrinka who's lost, he's out, uh, Wawrinka he's been plagued by loads of injuries, he's had a, some back trouble, he's had uh, some knee troubles, so he's, uh, he hasn't really found his form that he's capable of, he's lost, I mean he, he made final Rotterdam, lost to Monfils in the final, but since then he hasn't really done much and uh, I think he'll be looking uh, to get back in form in 2019, which will be interesting to see if he can get back in form for the clay court season. Another player who uh, has been beaten is Kachanov. Uh, he's a big hitting Russian player, uh, Dominic Team, a uh, player who's done unbelievably well recently. He obviously won Indian Wells against Roger Federer in the final, played amazing, had an amazing tournament. Um, and he, uh, he exited early here this week in Miami. And it's, uh, it made me kind of think what could be the reason for this exit and actually looking at the way the courts play it doesn't suit some of the, these big hitting players and especially someone like Team, who when I saw the stats of the match he actually had only 62 percent of points won on his first serve so his first serve was completely getting dominated by Hurkash uh, who's actually been doing unbelievably well as well he did well in Indian Wells he's a, a, an up-and-coming uh, player from Poland uh, six for five, big server, big game, but seems to be doing really well on the returns as well. And someone like Team really needed to step up with his serve. And just looking at those stats, Team he had like 65% first serves in, which is okay uh, for pros, but only 62% of first serves won, which is a terrible percentage compared to 87% on Hurkacz serve. So actually, looking at that, he's not holding easily. And then uh, obviously the other player is serving big, he's a big player, big hitter, so he struggled to, to get some momentum and win the match. I think he lost that 6-4, 6-4. Uh, some other results, Dimitrov Lopez will be an interesting match to see. Dimitrov obviously pulled out in Indian Wells with a, a shoulder problem. Dimitrov now working with Andre Agassi. What do you guys think about that partnership? Does that work? Do you think Agassi can bring something to the table? I mean, Dimitrov to me seems like a player that, that really requires, needs to really step up. He's been branded mini Federer, but hasn't really lived up to the hype yet. Maybe because Federer is still around. So what about some up and coming matches? Well, we've got David Ferrer, who's going to play Alex Zverev. Now that will be quite an interesting matchup because um, the courts are playing quite slow, I heard. The courts are slow, but they're bouncing quite high. I think it could suit someone like Ferrer, who grinds and makes a lot of balls. Someone like Zverev, I don't know how much he'll want to work out there. It's hot, it's bouncy, but it's quite slow. So those slow conditions, I think, favor uh, those players who don't exactly hit the ball that much. And we can see it with the results that we've seen this week. Players like the big hitters like Kachanov, even the big servers like Karlovic exiting early. Players like Wawrinka exiting early. Uh, all, of, all the shock exes team exiting early. I think it's all because the courts are playing quite slow. And I think it's down to the ATP slowing down the courts in general, giving the public uh, better viewing and longer points, better construction of points, giving a better feel for tennis. But I think it's uh, literally went against some of those uh, big serving, big hitting players. So perhaps it's taken a bit of that exci excitement out of, the, out of the game. I think Edmund's going to beat Raonic. Raonic simply relies on his serves way too much. I think uh, Edmund has a bigger game. He has stronger forehand. He's going to, I think, dominate a little bit better uh, on those slower, uh, on that slower surface. I think Djokovic simply is going to be too strong for Delbonis. I think uh, Basilashvili is going to beat Hase. Again, Hase is one of those bigger servers, bigger hitters. I think Basilashvili is going to be too solid for him. Koric to beat Shardy. Koric again, uh, one of those players that can stay in their long points, he can grind it out. 
Um, and I think he's going to come through that match. I think uh, Ramos Vinolas uh, to beat Isna. Again, I think Isna's serve might not be as effective out there in Miami, although it depends how hot it gets, of course. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, I think Ramos has a, a good chance there in that match. Another interesting match is Hurkash against Auger Aliasim. Two young guns competing. Of course, Hurkash beating team uh, in the earlier rounds, so he's going to be a confident player coming through. Auger Aliasim has had a, a good run this year so far as well. He's an up and coming player, so I think those two matched up uh, so early on in the tournament will be an exciting match. Batista Agut to beat Fognini. Uh, I think Agut uh, again will be too solid for Fognini. I think. Uh, Fognini can get a little bit frustrated at times, although I know he likes to have time to wind up for his shot, so that could perhaps play in his favor. And someone like Batista Agut doesn't uh, exactly spin the ball that much. He's not a spin player, hits the ball quite flat, so that could work against him if he's not able to hit through Fognini that well because of that lack of spin. Uh, and the course kind of being a little bit more bouncy might bring the ball up a little bit because it's slow. So maybe that could, be, that could go either way there. And of course, lastly, we come to Federer against Albot. Now, Albot is a personal friend of mine, actually. We used to compete on the tour quite a bit together. Uh, he's always been a, a really solid player, really good, solid shots, great backhand, especially like he has quite a flat backhand down the line that he uses very well. He, uh, he runs and works really hard uh, in his matches. And I think the conditions will suit him here. I know that Federer is going to be the big favorite. He made final last week in Indian Wells, lost to team, of course. And he didn't seem that upset even in the final that when he lost uh, in the press conference, he was just happy that his body is, is in good shape, that he's injury free and he's able to play fully. And I think uh, being in, in, in a positive spirit, I think it's good to see Federer like that. It's good that he's coming uh, into the tournament, into Miami with a lot of confidence. And I think that's why He's just going to have a little bit too much for Albot, but I think Albot does suit the conditions well, so I think it could be an interesting matchup. I even think that uh, Albot could maybe even sneak a set there, maybe he's, maybe the first set and then Federer to come through in three sets. So do you guys agree with my predictions? Uh, do you agree that the, the, the surface doesn't suit those big, big hitters, the big servers? It gives those grinders uh, a better chance. So I think even someone like Rafa, because of his spinning shots, would have been great to see here. He always does pretty well in Miami, and I think he uh, he would have uh, liked to uh, be out there this year, uh, unfortunately having to pull out. But I think it gives Federer uh, a great chance. I think um, it, but it'll be interesting to see how he does against Albot. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think. Do you think Federer will beat Albot in straight sets? And let me know if there'll be any surprises in the tournament and who you predict uh, to win the event. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Alex uh, from Love Tennis. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do so already. Press the like under the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there are any matches that you'd uh, like me to comment on or any player that you'd like to comment on. Uh, I was a player myself. I used to compete on ATP Tour. Uh, maybe at a slightly lower level than these guys. I've played a few of the bigger tournaments, but uh, not enough. I ended my career pretty early. So, uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think and uh, see you soon. So here, <laughs> here I have a, another member of the Love Tennis team. This is Winnie. Winnie, come on, do you want to sit down? Do you want to do the predictions with me? Okay. So, what do you reckon? Who are we going to have? Raonic or Edmund? I'm going to go for Edmund, just because I think Raonic is too reliant on his big serve. I think Edmund has a bigger game, a bigger all-round game, so I think he's going to take that one. I think uh, Djokovic is going to beat Delbonis. Uh, I think Batista Agut is going to beat Fognini. I think Hurkacz is going to beat Auger uh, Alassim. Right, you c oh, oh, I just knocked myself off. <laughs> right, you c oh, oh, I just knocked myself off. <laughs> oh, she's literally just absolutely killed my lip. <laughs> it's bleeding. It's actually bleeding. <laughs> it's actually bleeding. <laughs> it's killed my lip. Ah, Winnie, you're the worst presenter ever. <laughs> it's actually bleeding. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, this is horrendous. Get away!